Hi, welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and today we're going to look at what's called the exponential of a matrix. So let's let's reflect on this a little bit. Think about where we, we began. We began our studies into diff, diff, first order linear differential equations by looking at this problem, y prime equals a y, and we found that this is solved by Uh, y equals e to the a t, oops, not capital A, but lowercase a, e to the a t times the initial condition y of 0. Well, here's where we are now. This is where we have arrived. We have arrived at y prime equals a y. And now this y, these y's are vectors, a is a matrix, and what we're going to look at today is that this is solved, this is solved in the, ex in the exact same format by y equals e to the a t times y of 0. Well, a, capital A, is a matrix, y of 0 is a vector. And that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to first just start with, what does it mean to be e to the a t? Well, I think that it'll make more sense if we look at a little bit at e to the little a t. So let's do that. That's a, something we've seen before. So let's use that as our stepping stone. So if I write e to the a t, you may recall it's also the infinite series. The sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of um, a times t raised to the nth power divided by n factorial, n factorial. So when, when this is 0, this is a t raised to the 0, and 0 factorial, that's just 1, so we get 1 plus, and then let's, let's try this out a bit. So then we're going to get, um, I'm going to write the fraction in front, so we're going to get a 1 over 1 factorial times a t to the first plus 1 over 2 factorial a t squared. And we'll go one more. 1 over 3 factorial a t cubed. And I'm going to clean this up a little bit just because we're going to want to be comfortable seeing this. So we could, this would be the formal way to write it out, but we might more naturally write it as 1 plus a t plus 1 half a squared t squared plus 3 factorial is 6. So this is 1 sixth a cubed t cubed plus, oops, and this should, both of these should go out. They continue on forever plus dot dot dot. That is e to the a t. Now let's try something with this. Let's find the derivative with respect to t of e to the a t. Well, let's see. If we take the derivative of 1, we're going to get a 0, plus the derivative of a t, that's just going to be a, plus the next one, 1 half a squared t squared. Well, the derivative of t squared is 2t, but we multiply it by half, that's going to be 1, so this is going to be a squared t. Plus, and if we keep going, then we're going to get a 1 half, because we're going to get 3 sixths, a cubed t squared. Plus, and now we didn't write it up above, so I'm going to go write this up above. The next term is 1 over 24. That's what 4 factorial is. a to the 4th, t to the 4th. So we'll write one more term here, plus, so we can see this. Well, 4 24 is 1 6. This is a to the fourth t cubed plus, and that continues out that pattern forever. Well, this is kind of messy at first, so let's do this. Let's factor in a. So the zero term is gone, but, but notice that this, this goes forever, so there's no lack of terms or nor lack of pattern. If I factor in a, this becomes 1 plus a times t plus 1 half a squared t squared plus 1 sixth a cubed t cubed 
plus dot, 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 and that goes out forever. Oh, well, wait a minute, look at what all that is. All of that, all of that is just what we said that e to the at was. So this is a e to the a t. And so that's how you can see that the derivative of e to the at is what you would expect. Well, but this, today's story is about e to the exponential. So let's look at that. Well, nothing changes. e to the a t is, again, it's this infinite series as n goes from 0 to infinity of 1 over n factorial times a t raised to the nth power. Well now a times t is a matrix. Well a matrix raised to the nth power or to the zero power in this case is just going to be the identity matrix plus and now we're going to have when n is 1 we have 1 over 1 factorial that's 1 so this is going to be this is going to be a 1 I'll, I'll write it 1 times a times t plus now we're going to have 1 over 2 factorial that's 1 half and then we're going to have um, an a squared t squared. And then if we take, take, we'll take one more term, actually we'll do two more, one sixth capital A cubed t cubed plus four factorial, that's 24, one over 24 a to the fourth t to the fourth power plus dot 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 and that goes on forever. So let's try this though. Now let's take, I think we have just enough room, we'll come up here. Let's find the derivative with respect to t of e to the capital A t. Well, what we do is we take the derivative of each term. So the derivative of the identity, well, the derivative of, all, of a matrix A, those are just all numbers, those all become zero. So we have zero plus. Uh, the derivative of one times A times t, that's just going to be A plus, then I'm gonna have the derivative of one half a squared t squared, well a is just a bunch of constants, so this is just going to become a squared t. Plus the next one, one sixth a cubed t cubed, that's gonna become three sixths, that's one half, times a cubed times t squared. Plus, and we have one more here, if we take uh, four over 24, that's a sixth, times a to the fourth power times t cubed plus, now that would keep going. But we have enough here to see this pattern. And if we factor in a, now we have to think these are matrices now. So when I factor in a from the a, it, I don't leave a one, I leave an identity matrix i. Plus the a squared becomes a t, plus the one half a cubed t squared, that becomes one half a squared, t squared, plus then our next term, when I factor in a, I get, I'm left with 1 sixth a cubed, t cubed. And that also just continues out forever. But look at what this is. This is just a times what's in the parentheses that we already said, that's e to the capital A t. And so the derivative of the exponential of a matrix works as we would hope and as we expect. All right, um, let's do this now. Let's, um, oh, let's go to a new page. Let's go to a new page. So hopefully you have a space on your page or maybe you want to pull a piece of paper out, new piece. And what I would like to do is let's do this. Suppose, suppose A equals V lambda V inverse. So let's remember what that means. This, this, uh, this is, this is a diagonalized, diagon, a diagonalized. V is the matrix The matrix of eigenvectors, eigenvectors, and lambda 
is a matrix of eigenvalues. Okay, and now we've seen this. So let's try this. Let's let's do some a little experiment here. If we take e to the a t, and I'm going to write this definition out. This is i plus a t plus one half a squared t squared. Let's do one more plus one sixth a cubed t cubed plus, and now that continues out. But look at this, we just said that we can diagonalize a as v lambda v inverse. So this becomes i plus v lambda v inverse t plus uh, one half. And now and we'll, we'll write this out to help remind us. a squared, well that's v lambda v inverse times v lambda v inverse times t squared. But look at what happens. The middle, if you might, if we recall the v inverse v, that's just i. Lambda times i times lambda, that's just lambda squared. And so, and we're gonna have another one of these. One sixth of a cubed, I'll write this out. That's v lambda v inverse v lambda v inverse v lambda v inverse t cubed plus and now that continues out forever and but let's let's clean up what we have we have i plus v lambda v inverse t plus one half this becomes a v lambda oops i'm sorry lambda squared v inverse t plus, plus we have one six v, and all of these, when we just use a new association, because you can multiply by an associative property of multiplication of matrices applies. So this is just v lambda cubed v inverse t plus, and this pattern is just gonna continue on. Well, let's just note, note, note what we just said, and that's that v, v inverse is i. And notice that for v inverse to exist, that uh, the matrix of eigenvectors v has to be invertible, which is not always the case. So let's keep going. So v, v is v, v inverse, so I'm gonna have to do this. On the left, I'm gonna factor out a v. And, but then I'm still gonna have an i right here. Plus, then, and then on the right hand side, I'm gonna factor out a v inverse, we'll just, we'll just do this. This becomes lambda v inverse t plus one half. Oh, so then this should be a v inverse. V inverse plus, there we go. Plus lambda squared v inverse t plus one sixth lambda cubed v inverse t plus dot dot dot. Now let's do this. Let's leave the v on the left, but now let's take a v inverse out on the right. So when I do that, I'm left with i plus lambda t plus one half lambda squared. Oops, that's a t squared in there. t squared plus on the, geez, t cubed, I mean, I had two corrections on that line above there, plus one sixth lambda cubed t cubed, oh, geez, another one up above, and again, there we go, now we're getting these right, plus dot 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 times v inverse, well, look at this, this whole piece right in here, this, this, is we've just replaced a with a lambda. So in other words, this is v times e lambda t v inverse. And so that's the beauty of being able to diagonalize A, and we get this new result. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.